Hello guys, since Laravel 8.50 the framework has a feature of pruning models to clean up the old models, for example if you don't need them in the database. So you can clean up the records like from a year ago or something like that with just adding prunable functionality to your model and then running model prune. And if you're not that familiar with the feature I have a separate video which I will link in the description below so you can search prunable on my channel and land on this so I demonstrate you how it works. But what if you want to clean up not the records but certain fields to make your database lighter? And that was exactly the question asked by Nuno Maduro, the core team member of Laravel, any fields packages out there for prunable just for the fields, for the columns. And there wasn't such a package until Ricardo accepted the challenge. And that's the beauty of Laravel community. In discussions, some new tools, new packages and new framework additions appear. And today, I can present the first version of Laravel Prunable Fields Laravel package, which already exists, still quite fresh, but it does the job and I will show you how it works. So I have quickly generated the project with our quick admin panel. And if you want to generate something like this with user management, go to quickadminpanel.com. That's a quick advertisement for our products. But anyway, let's imagine you have 100 users or 100,000 users and you want to clean up the names of the users which are really old and you don't care about them. So let's add some fake users. And by the way, that's another side lesson from this video. So PHP Artisan Tinker. And then you run user factory which comes by default from laravel 50 users for example and you do create and that's it it generates 50 users and if we refresh the users table there we go we have users from id 2 to id 51 and let's imagine you want to clean up the older users from created at something like a year ago or in my case created at is the same so let's use id and let's clean up the names of the users with ID less than whatever, 30 for example. And this is exactly what I've done. Behind the scenes I've installed the package, so installation is just Composer require. You may publish the config if you want to prune multiple models, but without even publishing the config, you just need to add prunable fields to your model, which I did in the user model, default user model. I have prunable fields, and then in the model I also specify what to prune, what to clean up. So for example, ID less than 40. In the package example, the example is with created at. So created at earlier than yesterday, for example. And probably cleaning up the username is not the best example, I agree. But you get the idea. I want to show the mechanics. And then you need to run model prune fields. And you can run model prune fields with specific eloquent model or with config you may specify multiple models to be pruned. In my case, I will run PHP artisan model prune fields with model, user model, which would be app models user, the full path. And what do we have? Oh, no prunable models found. Probably it should be with quotes. Yep. So 39 records have been pruned. What does it actually mean? Oh, I didn't show one thing. In the model, there's also prunable array. What fields to prune and to which values. In my case, name to null. And if we refresh our table, we will see that the newest users are still with the name. And under my condition of ID less than 40, the name is cleared up. Again, probably not the best example of cleaning up the names of users. It's probably more for the fields which would contain a lot of data which you don't actually need currently, like logs, for example, or something like that. But anyway, the package gives you the opportunity, the functionality, and then it's your call where to actually use that. Package has a few more features like mass prunable models if you want to perform mass update on those, which means it wouldn't call any observers or any events on the eloquent model. And also, of course, you can schedule the cleanup to be performed daily. So you can find it all in the documentation of the package. And finally, I want to mention a similar package called masked DB dump, which means you don't clean the fields, but you replace them with some asterisks or other symbols just to hide sensitive data. That comes from Beyond Code, and you can search that by searching mask on my channel, and I will link that video in the description below so you can check out that channel as well. And for more package reviews, of course, subscribe to the channel because the channel is Laravel daily. So to get those daily videos, subscribe and see you guys in those other videos.